Hey, what's up guys? Joker here, and I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic weekend thus far. Today, I'm just going to be bringing you a quick Sunday update on a news story that we talked about earlier in the week with a Windows update, which was crippling gaming performance. That update was KB51330. I'm pretty sure that's the exact number of the security update. I showed you guys uh, what the issue was and how to get rid of the issue. And now Microsoft has acknowledged it and released a quote unquote fix for the issue. So I'm going to go over those details for you guys here in this video. But first, today's video is brought to you by MMORC.com, where you could save money on games for all of your favorite platforms, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro, which you can get for just $15, as well as Office 2019 Pro and Office 365. And if you act right now, you can get an additional 27% off with my code JOK27 at checkout, and that'll knock the price down on Windows 10 Pro from $15.29 all the way down to $11.16. And of course, they accept a wide variety of payment from PayPal to credit cards to Bitcoin. So be sure to act now and hit up the links down in the description below. Now, the reason I say quote unquote fix for the issue is because Microsoft hasn't actually fixed it with a new update. Rather, what they're doing is rolling back and removing the update, which is more or less what I showed you guys how to do in that initial video. Although there were some people that had commented that they weren't able to remove it, which I later found out was that if you were on the latest uh, feature update for Windows 10 uh, 20 H2, that version, if you're on that, which I'm currently not, uh, it would apparently block you from uninstalling it, which, uh, so I'm not on that. And I uninstalled the update, but then Windows actually reinstalled the update when I rebooted my PC and I didn't bother messing around with it again uh, because I wasn't really playing any games anyway this past week. Um, yeah, but if you were able to uninstall it now, the issue should be resolved today or within in the next 24 hours and I'll show you how you can actually check for that because it's not actually uh, really easy because it's not like an update you can manually force or anything but over on the Microsoft blog you could see here that they do acknowledge the issue in the known issues list for the recent update on March 29th where they say a small subset of users have reported lower than expected performance in games after installing this update most users affected by the issue are running games full screen or borderless windowed modes and using two or more monitors. So that would also explain why maybe some people weren't having any issues and others were. I do run a dual monitor setup and I was seeing the issue. So uh, that could definitely be the reason there as they uh, noted it. Now, as far as the fix is concerned, they say that the issue is resolved using known issue rollback and it'll take up to 24 hours for the resolution to propagate automatically to consumer devices. So really all this is is that they're rolling back and removing the security update. And I imagine in the coming weeks or so, weeks, uh, we'll probably see a new security update, which will include uh, some of the fixes from that, but with the, maybe the issue resolved that was creating the bad gaming performance with people playing on dual monitor setups. So hopefully it does uh, get removed. It still has not been removed uh, from my PC. They do say that restarting your PC might force um, the rollback to go ahead and go into place. But as of right now, um, these notes were just released today. So it could take up, like I said, up until 24 hours for it to uh, be resolved completely. Now, if you weren't able to remove it yourself and you want to go ahead and check to see if it is removed, uh, I will leave a link over to Hot Hardware uh, in their article that covered this. Uh, earlier today because they have uh, exact directions on how to do this. It basically involves going into the registry editor, editor but you don't have to mess around with anything in there. Uh, but if you do want to check manually on your system, you just want to go ahead and hit your Windows key and then type regedit. And then you can go ahead and open up the regedit.exe, which will go ahead and bring up this window. From there, you're going to want to go ahead and click on hkey underscore local underscore machine. And then from there, you want to go to system and then down to current control set. From there, you want to go to control, then down to feature management, which is right about here. Go down into there. And then from there, you want to go into overrides. And then you're going to want to click on the number four. And then you see right here on mine, there's only two number sets. The one that you're looking for, uh, as noted over on Hot Hardware, is 1837593227. If you have the folder in there with that specific number in it, once you you know go ahead and drop down the number four folder, that means that the, the override to roll back has been applied by Microsoft. Uh, and again, it might take up to 24 hours from the time that you're seeing this video. Uh, and if you don't see that, restarting your PC may uh, force that to happen, but it also may not. As I said, I already tried um, rebooting my PC 
and the number was still not there. So your, you know, your luck may vary on that, but it should get fixed pretty soon, as they said, they said in the next 24 hours. So we'll wait and see on that. But uh, yeah, thankfully, at least Microsoft has sort of addressed the issue and acknowledged that it is an issue. And uh, it's just unfortunate that we do have to deal with these things constantly uh, on Windows 10 because we're all beta testers now. So that's that's a thing. It's, it's been a thing for quite some time, and it's going to continue to be a thing as long as Microsoft can get away with it because, well, they will. Because they're Microsoft, and there's really not much we can do about it apart from switching to Linux, which probably a lot of people don't want to do. So Microsoft pretty much has us on the balls uh, by the balls on this one. So that's really all we can go ahead and do is wait for them to go ahead and address it. Or you can remove the patch, uh, the update, if you were able to. But if not, you have to wait for this. So that's all I've got for you guys today on this uh, Sunday update. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and enjoy the rest of my weekend. And I hope you all do the same as well. I'll see you tomorrow and throughout the rest of the week for some more videos.